Hello everyone, I'm John and welcome back to the channel. You may already know by now that ZWO released their new AM5 N harmonic mount. That will probably replace the older AM5 mount and soon you won't be able to buy it anymore. Well, in this video I want to tell you why I decided to buy the older AM5 mount and not the new AM5 N version. And when I uh, raised money to buy the AM5 mount, it was only the original AM5 uh, mount available, not the new version. However, I received this information from ZWO. They told me if I don't want to wait a couple of months, I could buy the new AM5 mount instead. So you may ask why I still went and buy the older AM5 and didn't wait a couple of months for the new one that comes with new upgrades. And it's uh, actually quite simple. First was the weight. I wanted the mount faster. <laughs> a couple of months seems not so much, but if you are uh, already waited a couple of months to raise the money, you might decide to wait more or to wait less. So this is one factor, the waiting if you can wait more for uh, the new mount or just go to buy the old one and here and to make this decision i also considered how big are the upgrades talking with zwo i've uh, noticed that they're not so big the improvements to the new one compared with the old version there are noticeable improvements but not a huge difference what does the new m5 mount have compared with the old one I will just refer here to the main differences. We'll make another video, a video comparison with the two mounts and go in more details there. But the main difference is that the new AM5N, that I uh, also have it here on my screen, has a higher load capacity. It will be able to hold without counterweight 15 kilograms instead of 13. So this is the main upgrade. After this, uh, I believe also it has. Uh, less periodic error. However, we'll be guiding anyways, so I'm not sure how much we'll feel the difference. And there are also other minor improvements like uh, some new ports and uh, better cable management. Well, as I mentioned before, the major differences between the new AM5N and the old one is the payload capacity of 2 kilograms. So is this important? If the total load is 20 kilograms, I think it is but not huge it's not a huge difference and what is important here is the price and the price that you can get the new m5 and compared with the old one so here is the thing currently the m5 uh, the old m5 model is, is still available on some dealers and if you decide not to buy from zw and to buy from a local dealer then you might get a much better deal on the old M5 model. I'm not sure how uh, long they will still be available. There are, only, there are some few left on uh, dealers. I didn't see the old M5 on the ZW mount. But if you are tight with your budget and you need a good mount and you decide to go with telescopes up to 10 inch, I think the old M5 will do just fine. So, of course, having some upgrades and having uh, 2 kilograms uh, better payload, up to 15 kilograms, it will help. First, let's say you have an 8-inch inch telescope that you need to use the counter wide uh, weight, even if you are about 13 kilograms, to get the best performance from your uh, original M5 mount. However, with the new AM5, you should be able to get better results on uh, this uh, weight and uh, not have to also install the counterweight bar and the counterweight. And that will make things a little bit uh, easier, especially if you travel, not having to also install the counterweight and the counterweight bar. And you'll still be able to get good results, being uh, lighter, setting up faster is a nice upgrade to not have to put the counterweight and the counterweight bar on your M5 with your telescope. 
but if you think about it how much time it uh, takes you to put the counterweight and counterweight bar not so much in one minute you can attach it and still get uh, about the same performance with the older version of m5 so i think in the end it all resumes to the price and your budget so if you are tighter on your budget and you find a very nice deal on the m5 the original one i think is still worth uh, going for especially if you do not plan using larger telescopes like 10 inch or larger because on these harmonic mounts the payload is not quite the same depending on the telescope you use so let's say if you use a 10 inch telescope that is farther away from the center of gravity of the mount and uh, let's say it's 26 centimeters instead of 20 that is the distance calculated on the zw website for the uh, load capacity then you might be able to use the mount up to 18 kilograms 17 or 18 kilograms with a good performance instead of 20. so here is a little bit of difference depending on the telescope you will decide to use and if you want to go with a 10 inch newtonian like uh, i i want and uh, i've ordered a 10 inch newtonian that i want to test it on the m5 mount here the new m5n should perform a little better with larger telescopes because it does have improvements re regarding uh, i believe the motors the torque and the payload capacity so this would have an advantage on my new telescope but as uh, we're talking about the price this was the most important factor the price on making my decision so on the older m5 i was able to get a very nice deal also with the tripod included in the price the tripod for free and the discount and on the <clears throat> on the new m5 model being a new product i wasn't able to get such good uh, deal as with the old one and in the end it's uh, all about the budget how much you are willing to pay for amount and how tight your budget is if you have a larger budget then uh, with the new upgrades yes the new m5n would be a better choice or a more powerful mount than the uh, older m5 because you might want also to uh, upgrade in the future with uh, a larger telescope or just buy a larger telescope from the beginning so here you need to make a personal decision if you are tight on the budget should you look for the older m5 and uh, or to just save more money and go with the new one uh, please let me know what you think in the comments below these mounts are not quite so cheap and uh, as a photography is already expensive and i still believe price is important so please let me know in the comments what would you do if you would be able to buy the m5 cheaper or you would go for the new version regarding this particularly uh, topic i decided to go with the older m5 because it was a larger difference in price that i had to pay for the new one and also i had to wait a couple of months in the situation you're using the same telescope or you will uh, plan to buy let's say an 8 inch newtonian an upgrade from a smaller one i don't think you might see too much difference with the new am5 model on performance of course the m5n comes also with some other minor updates and also very useful one if you travel it has a better azimuth system without those clutches because when locking the position on am5 and uh, unlocking it causes vibrations and cause a little bit to move and if you polar align every time this can cause a little bit of error so here uh, another smaller advantage on the m5 or if you are just using an 8 inch telescope or smaller i don't think you'll feel a difference in performance because the old m5 is, was already a very good mount this is why i decided to go with the older m5 mount and uh, check also my other videos with the m5 mount if the older one will perform good with a 10 inch telescope like the newtonian the steel newtonian that i've ordered 
then also the new AM5 will perform even better. Thanks once again for anyone who continues to support the channel by joining the membership or with super thanks. It was really a nice help last week when I needed to buy a new computer that in the end costed me a little bit more. So I really appreciate all your support. It makes a big difference. It helps me make more content for you and all the channel membership. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And if you want also to support the channel, feel free to join the channel membership where you'll be able also to download and process my astrophotography data. I hope I'll see you also in my future videos on harmonic mounts and with the ZW AM5. Until next time, I wish you all clear sky.